Welcome to Give a Dram with Drew and Randy. This is our very first video, so welcome to our channel. If you like what you see, please give us the thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Mandy. This is Drew. Hello. Um, and this is Give a Drum. It is our new YouTube channel, mm. vlog, maybe a podcast. We're not sure how this is going to work out. Um, but this is the start of our journey for uh, 2021. We've decided to take you on a taste adventure of American whiskeys, bourbons, and scotch. We're going to talk about Scottish whiskey as well. And we're going to take you on a taste around the world and other alcoholic drinks, as I like to say it. So today, Drew's going to tell you about a bottle he bought. Look at this one. This is, this is, it's a gorgeous bottle. As you can see, it's already been as opened. Um, yeah, this one, he already tried it. So this is the first one for me. It's a sign of goodness. It's a sign of goodness. So tell us about Missouri Ridge. Missouri Ridge, right. Well, I think we need to talk about two distilleries. Oh, well, a bottle of cum distillery and yeah. a distillery. So we got this from uh, the lovely people down at uh, Coastal Distiller in Lincolnshire. And uh, they, they produce vodkas and gins, a really good gin that's... Uh, a rum, a tequila, I think yeah. they're working on as well, which yeah. is a really good one. Yeah. yeah, they got some really good stuff. And one that kind of uh, caught my fancy was Missouri Ridge. I think it was the name because I've got my grandma DJ who comes from Missouri or Missouri as she likes to say. Yes. She, she's a crazy lady is my grandma. Um, I love her to bits but to <laughs> I don't think grandma DJ would touch this stuff. Um, she's, she's not a drinker. Uh, bless her. She likes her, 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 her pop. But um, yeah this is one that I, I love the design of it. I love how down here you've got like the Missouri state shaped, just nice yes, touches. Yes. You can you can tell a, a, some, a product designer yeah. has, has bought yes. this. Funny you should say that. Yeah. Because this was a design by Ginger Monkey. Ginger Monkey. Great um, name. Yeah. Almost really as good, good as Give a Drum. I'm just yeah. going to say it. It's getting there. It's getting there. But uh, yeah, I think it's it wraps uh, a hidden gem and i think that the packaging really suits the contents of the bottle and the contents of the bottle are from a gentleman called greg pope from missouri rich and he's been doing it for a very long time in fact his family have yeah so we're gonna put some links below check him out he's got a couple of videos as well we'll throw those in there as well you, you need to learn about this guy he's awesome yeah 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 uh, i think uh, we need uh, we need to to get his name out there a lot more because uh, i think coastal did a really good job bringing him over here mm -hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of a, uh, we're gonna we've, try it we've, we've got a, a little we got our drums ready to find sample. out whether we're gonna give a drum or whether we're gonna say yeah. frankly we don't give a drum yeah. um yeah. but this one this one this one's a good one um you do not get much choice of American whiskeys, uh, bourbons over here. They make a really, really small percentage of the market. And if you've not tried one, I have. We're going to tell you what we think of this one. Yeah. And it might be one to to give us. Well, um, I'm going to go for the nose first. Let's smell it. What do you think of? I think um, it's got a really, really sweet note to it. So I kind of get that kind of caramely um, mm. sweetness coming through it. So yeah, and it's it's got a lovely little color in there. So yeah, you definitely it's smell good. the the, the woods in there. Um, smell uh, like a crisp apple. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, there's I don't know something else there. Watchers beware! This yeah. one will tell you it smells of something, and then yeah, we it's were at a perfume shop, and he yeah, was like, yeah. "Hey, this smells of I can smell citrus notes," and they're like, "That's funny. There's no citrus in it." Yeah. But no, it's true. It, it, it does, I think, generally, it has a sweet, nice sweet smell to it. It's got a really, it's got a 
really great nose to it, and it's 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 saying there's bags of uh, there's bags going on there. There's yeah. a lot to talk about, but hopefully, look, we're gonna give it a try. He's going for it. I'm going for it. Mmm. Oh, I love that. That's, that's a, that is that is a really good one. It is. Um, it is. I yeah. think it's. It's forty-seven percent by volume. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's a full. You know, it's obviously not full strength uh, bourbon. I don't think Greg would be trying to sell it as that. He's you know he's going for a, a bourbon whiskey kind of. Mm. I think this is a really good um, craft. I definitely agree. I yeah. think it's gonna. You know, if you if you go in and you're looking for a bottle and you're like, hey, I really want to try this, yeah. don't don't get don't don't go kind of mainstream. Just try support a local yeah. company, yeah, local definitely. bottler, yeah. and, and just like yeah, definitely. Uh, the the, yeah. the product definitely stands against. I mean, it's won awards. It's won eighteen, seventeen or eighteen awards um, for three hundred and seventy five day aged. Product. I think it's really good. That's okay. That's less than a year, and I know people think, "Whoa, isn't Hold it on. older the better?" Less than a no. year. Le less. How much have you been drinking, dear? It's, 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 it's ten it's days COVID. more than a year. That it's adding COVID. <laughs> it's been one of those years. No, um, yeah, it, a little it, over a year. But some people think, "Oh, you have to have a really, really old bottle." No, it's no, not the case. This is one. No. Yeah, for, for me, it tastes. I, I get a really, really nice warmth on the back of the throat it doesn't feel overpowering mm. it doesn't feel like i'm drinking something that's overly alcoholic it's got that sweetness that stays on the front of the tongue so it kind of bounces around the palate um oh it's just lovely i could i could literally curl up into a drama this and yeah. i'd actually say i give a drama about this one i think from, it's definitely one for me definitely yeah. definitely one for me I, th I think it is it is a mellow rounded taste that isn't sharp there isn't a lot of alcohol um mm. there isn't like a sharp attack of alcohol there there's definitely a sweetness from the corn but i think it could stand up with a, a little bit of water or some ice mm. you know if, if you're into your coke i think a big splash of coke if that's your not thing. really my preference i'd say drink it straight it's beautiful no. this isn't something you just throw back and go oh shot no, no. no this is no. this is a drink it slow so yeah, that yeah. enjoy the flavor um yeah. even now just had, just had a sip it's still playing around the throat it's it's one to go that's that's what bourbon's all about to me it's uh where does it where does it take you where does it taste now? Where, where, when you taste this one, where does it, what does it taste like? Where does it? Where do you go? Okay, so this takes me to uh, when we went over to see your parents, uh, and, and I went to my very first drive-through liquor store. <laughs> yes. So. Yes, I went all the way to the other side of the world and was confronted by a salesperson that wanted to know everything about Manchester. So yes, so um, yeah, folks in Arkansas, which actually is just under under here in Missouri. Um, Missouri is one of those uh, Midwestern states. Anything that's not on the East Coast is classed as a Midwestern unless you get to the West. So it's a flyover state. Um, absolutely beautiful place to be. As I said, I've got family that come from there. Um, found my cousins that are living there. Hello, bird. But yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one, and I think definitely one to enjoy. And this is one that Greg definitely says goes well with uh, his barbecue that he does. So I think you could have barbecue. this with some ribs. Have this with some ribs. Barbecue oh, chicken gosh. wings or a nice steak. Um, okay. I'm in heaven. Uh, yeah, small kit. Hey, that's what we should do. We should get some steak. Come on. Let's go get barbecue. Bye, guys. Y'all come back now and drink responsibly. <laughs>